What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, Dynex's web wallet is back up. Sorta. Let's talk about it. So right now, the price of Dynex is dropping like a manhole from the sky. Um, it's currently down about 20% right now, but it was down about 30% earlier today. And that is most likely a result of the web wallet being back up and people transferring their coins most likely to an exchange, either to sell or just to get it off of the web wallet. And it's very unfortunate. I did post a video about this about three days ago, right when it went down. And I had to delete that video, unfortunately. And someone asked me on Twitter why I deleted the video. And that is because I neglected a very important step. Always use a virtual machine when installing core wallets. I forget sometimes that new people aren't aware of things like that, so I wanted to redo the video. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire process of installing the core wallet because just a few minutes ago, I noticed that Son of a Tech posted a video on how to do so. And I'll let you guys watch his video. I'll leave a link in the description below. And in my video, I had several extra steps. And the reason that I had extra steps in there was because I wanted to make sure that people who were using the web wallet were able to sign in or restore their web wallet with the core wallet. And essentially that would pull all the funds to the new wallet. Unfortunately, it does not look like that is going to be the case. And I'll let Son of a Tech explain why. Come back, everybody. So unfortunately, what we have is a situation where the web wallet, while they do provide keys now, does not actually provide all the information key wise that you would need to recover in either the GUI wallet or the command line interface wallet. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here. So if we go and we take a look at our keys folder, we have a spend secret key, a spend public key, and your address. There's another secret key and private key that actually needs to be in here for you be, to be able to recover it. So unfortunately, if you go to recover it in a CLI or in the new GUI wallet, you can't do that. Thankfully, not all is lost for people that are trying to create a new wallet and self-custody. While I've been utilizing the command line wallet, I realize that a lot of people might not want to do that. So let's go over the Windows GUI wallet here real quick and just get you guys up to date as far as that goes. So if you so if you are interested in installing the GUI or GUI wallet or a hardware wallet, uh, I definitely recommend giving Son of a Text video a watch. Uh, and again, I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And there is another alternative. And, you know, I've always been under the impression you never want to mine to an exchange wallet. However, I saw another video today from our friend red panda mining and let me let you in on what he's doing right now the wallet i'm actually mining to uh, trade ogre now some people may have reservations about this it doesn't matter but for me i'm just mining to trade ogre and just selling it right away into trading it into btc right away so you can see with if you want to do that you're going to have to put in the you know deposit address and also the payment id so make sure you have a uh, period Okay, in between the deposit address and the payment ID in order for it for you to get a deposit uh, into your trade ogre. So I can show you here. I have verified that it does work and I'm getting, you know, my payment, my Dynex into my trade ogre just fine. Okay, so just to tell you guys that now. So it is possible to mine directly to trade ogre. But again, you want to make sure that you have your payment ID included in that. And you can see in your flight sheet here, you're going to put your wallet address followed by a dot or a period and then followed by the payment ID. Now, if we take a look at the length of time it's taking right now for the web wallet to process transactions, I notice there's lots of complaints right now in Discord. So this person says, I have the same situation, four hours and counting. It's been almost three hours. I did mine 10 minutes ago and it showed up. Uh, did you include your payment ID? It's been about 30 minutes, no deposit in Trade Ogre pending yet. And I also noticed that I did not see any pending transactions in Trade Ogre. So 
if we take a look at my Dynex web wallet, which I have a very small balance in there, that was when it first launched and I mined a little bit. And honestly, guys, I haven't mined much Dynex at all. In fact, not much more than this. And that's because of constant issues. You need to get the malob error, all kinds of things. I just want to show everybody, you know, what I learned, but Dynex is not one that um, I'm mining continuously. It's more just kind of educational purposes for you guys. But anyways, as we can see here, um, I sent this transaction at roughly 2.12 p.m. And the current time right now, let me refresh this, is 3.02 p.m. If we go take a look at Trade Ogre, I do see a pending transaction now. It shows a timestamp of 227. So from the time that I sent it, uh, Trade Ogre didn't get any information until 227. It's currently showing nine out of 60 confirmations. Let's refresh this page. All right, so we're up to 16 and currently it is roughly 302. So it's been over 45 minutes and it doesn't look like we're even halfway there yet. So it's going to be a considerable amount of time before that transaction shows up if you are transferring anywhere. So just something to be aware of. And, you know, I just want to reiterate, guys, that that, that video that I did, unfortunately, it got about 500 views before I deleted it. And I'm hoping that anybody out there um, who watched that video did not install that on their desktop or their their daily driver it's extremely important that you always use a virtual machine when installing any type of exe file that you're unfamiliar with and that you can't trust and in case you do want to know how to install a virtual machine uh, let me pull up my my channel here i have a video about this that i'll leave down in the description below but I want to show you what the thumbnail looks like so that you guys can find it easily so it's entitled how to set up a virtual machine using Hyper-V isolate new crypto wallets to protect your funds and one other thing that I would like to add to that another layer of protection that I highly recommend is isolating that virtual machine on your network um, you want to take every precaution that you possibly can because let's face it anything can be in an exe file and there's really no way to protect yourself unless you go through these extra steps now you know when it comes to using a hardware wallet that's on your desktop you know as far as convenience is concerned being able to transfer to and from that wallet it's pretty easy if you have some type of remote soft software where you can just remote into your PC, no big deal. But if you don't, and you're not familiar with those types of things, uh, then I guess a web wallet is supposed to be convenient, but how convenient is it if it doesn't work? So anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.